Hey Emily, notice anything different? I look like a drag queen. Ah. It's mommy. It's mommy. <laughs> Hello. So we're going to be talking about uh, the ideal woman and femininity today from a man's point of view. Try not to deliberately excel him in masculine things. It makes them maybe feel uncomfortable to be around an overly capable woman. Do you guys have any strong feelings about photos like this? Or people who dress androgynously? Well, obviously, when you see a person dressed like that, the first thing you would think that they were a lesbian. Yeah, you can't help but make judgments. So this is part of the, uh, the feminism and the deprogramming that we are doing. Loving things Jeff has done for me. He called to ask how I was. He put money in my account. <laughs> Text me that he was sorry for what he said. Jeff works long, oops, hours. So I can stay home. He loves that I do stuff like this, but he probably thought it was a little bit weird. We're certainly not a perfect couple. Anybody who knows us well knows that. But what they don't know is what saved us is me living the principles of fascinating womanhood to the best of my ability. Oh, here comes the hubs. Morning. <laughs> What's on the agenda for you today? NFL football tonight. Okay. I'm not doing anything today. <laughs> you're, you're done. I'm so flipping tired, I'm just not doing anything. Okay. What do you want for dinner? Oh, I don't care. I don't, I don't I, I made chili. It's really good. Works. We could do that. We could do roast chicken and mashed potato. No. I'm not doing chili and roast. No, or. Oh, or. Okay. Well, when I wake up, I'll tell you. I, <laughs> I'm not awake yet. Okay. All right. I'm going to get the paper. Okay. Do you want to shake strawberry banana? L little bit? A little one? Romeo, your curiosity is going to kill you. Get out of the way. Leaving tomorrow um, for Springfield, Missouri to be with Dixie and Bob and get ready for the book launch. This, I like this. I always wear this. Okay. Dixie had called me to chat. And about a week before that, I quit my job. All of a sudden, I just started telling her she needed to hire me. I sent over a proposal. They said, this looks great. Why don't you come down? Can you come down this weekend? We'd love to meet you. And there she is. It was like, oh, the she just looks like an angel. Wow, this woman was raised by Helen Andelin, who wrote the book that changed my life. Like, I just loved that book. I read it hundreds of times. Enjoy your tea party. Gotta do man things. Um, for some reason, you might lose friends when you take up a passion like this and make it your life. Don't get as many phone calls or invites from my friends. sad.
I don't know what happened there. It just happened around the time I started working for Fascinating Womanhood. It's okay, because I have made a lot of new friends. Hello! Hi, how good are to you? See you? Good to see you. You look so pretty in you pink. Too, like, oh, is that the book? That is the book. So, so <laughs> take one. Take oh, one. Yes. Goodness. It's beautiful. Oh, I know. I love that. That's so pretty. Oh, thanks. This is very pretty. This is very much what Dixie would wear. Definitely. I'm channeling Definitely. her. Yes, you're inner Dixie. <laughs> <laughs> A concern of mine of our society is the masculine man is falling. Yeah. Like, his masculinity isn't validated. It's not accepted. It's men's pants are no longer like men's pants anymore. They're skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. very feminine. I know uh, Nikki wants to look at the original pamphlets. Has everybody seen those yet? Mm -hmm. From 1922. Those would have been the things that um, Helen would have read wow. to help her write the original book. This is my dream come true. Everybody in the room reading quietly. Oh, cool. Can I have another kiss? One for the road? Mm -hmm. I love you. Jeff was my son's baseball coach, and so I'd known of him for a couple of years. He had had a terrible divorce as well, and so we sort of bonded over that horrible experience. When we started, things were so awful. He's in a custody battle, I'm in a custody battle. Because I work so much, I would not get custody of the kids, and this was over money. They didn't want to pay child support. Um, I'm thinking, how am I ever going to win this? I'm not going to win this. You know, and um, I just one night took like three clonopin or something and a rum and diet coke and wrapped myself in their clothes and fell asleep in the bed there. I didn't want to die. I just couldn't handle that pain of what the kids were going through. Complete nervous breakdown. That's why I went into the hospital for a week. But I miss Christmas. And when you're divorced and you only see your kids every other Christmas, that's a big deal. This is a time when I picked up FW again and I just said, I'm doing this. I need to change who I am. I have to change my life. That was, geez, almost 10 years ago now. <sighs> time flies. There it is. We're about ready to enter the most beautiful place in the world. She's the most amazing, talented person I've ever met. This is my destiny. Hello. Hi. Hi, everyone. It's Jenny, and I'm actually sitting right next to Miss Dixie Andalyn Forsyth. Hi. Hi. It's been wonderful being it's good here. Good to see you, you too. <laughs> Some guys are just interested in sex, whereas women tend to associate sex with romance. How does a woman now in the 21st century, you know, what does she do? If you tell guys you're dating, I don't, I don't do this until mm -hmm. I'm married, a lot of really good guys will respect that. If they're the ones that are just love them and leave them types, they'll be gone. Yeah, that'll and filter them out immediately. Okay. The hashtag trad wives. Oh, you, you look beautiful tonight. You. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi. This is Jenny. She's my assistant. Okay. Are we ready? Welcome, everybody, to our very first lesson ever of uh, Fascinating Womanhood for the Timeless Woman. We are the gatekeepers of civilization. We are the ones who have all the babies. We are the gatekeepers of procreation. And when we are at our best, we tend to... Uh, kind of keep men from being more warlike than they naturally would be. Femininity and masculinity are under threat in favor of neutrality, which nobody actually is. Okay. So. If you want to buy the book, come to the book launch to get it autographed. 
What's with the Waxworks? When I had my last child, it was my seventh child, I wasn't done having the maternal thing. Bob had taken me to London to Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, mm -hmm. and I just stared at the figures. How long did it take you to do that? Oh, I don't know, a couple months. Wow, Dixie. Okay. Then I realized, oh, I can't fill my house with wax people. <laughs> so I started making pots. Okay. This is interesting right here. This. this right here mm -hmm. is the painting that I painted for my mother's coffin. It is on the top part of her coffin. I kind of got carried away. There it is. This is the original book. Wow. Thank you, Bob. Thanks. Where is it? Here it is. I feel inspired that you will someday be an author. To my lovely daughter, Dixie. I am your first follower, mm. <laughs> and I am just crazy about you. Well, thank you. We need hundreds of Jennies. Well, so we need to order. I unpublished Timeless last night because it's a mess. Yeah, it's better than putting out books with the error. The guard dog picture. You mean you think the, that that one, that one errors in all the ones that I own? It's the current print file. The stickers for the book. Do you have them? Would you like me to paste them in I there? I do not have them. They're going to need to be yeah. cut really nicely. Oh, I, I like cutting. I'll start doing that. So, so we're talking about doing stickers, but we're not going to do stickers. What we're going to do not? is... Oh. Uh, because it's not an efficient solution, what we're going to do is dry style uh, glue stick stuff. Leaves no residue. I'll do it, but I disagree. I like stickers much thicker paper. If the press comes, you want to give them a pristine copy. Where's the book? Page 140? Yeah, as you know. Okay, there it is. And it is one and three quarters. I've got this. Okay, this, but let's yeah. see. Let's see. Uh, what size is that? You don't need... It's The ruler is on the computer. Okay. So, you can go eat. You don't have to... Okay, all right. This is why I wanted a sticker. I this know. looks terrible. We probably do. You see that? Put on sticker paper. And then, then I cut it. We, I think that's what we have. Got it. What color would you like the labels? Um, probably gold. That's it. Well, the angel is a gray. Oh, you want her gray? Mm -hmm. Everything is gray. Got it. I don't think they know that I can do what I do as much as I can do. But if you compare me next to their brilliance, I can't compare. Yeah, you got the first one. <laughs> oh my God. I think Seriously, they look great. that is so beautiful. Shoot the part. Okay, let's see the other one. Wow. Thing. Yeah, I think I like the second one best. Because he's holding her. This is what we want. Men that are heroes. Yes, we do. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you blow something up or make it bigger, it's kind of grainy. It, it doesn't have the, the well, clarity sure or the quality. Well, Richard sure that he made sure. Nobody likes to be taken for granted. When my pride gets in the way, you know, that's when the feelings come. How about this? <laughs> the less trips, the better. I, I think we should just have a few of each and then have them down underneath for this. Yeah. It was an Where's a guy when you need him? Can't do too much. <laughs> it's just my fibromyalgia. I always feel better when I wear lipstick. Okay. 
are worth the kids. So proud of you, Dixie. It's so beautiful. My signature heart. Love you. Love you. <laughs> okay. Ah, it's time to say goodbye. Uh, I hate it. I know, me too. I know, I hate We're, it. We know we'll see you soon. It was yeah. such a, it was a, it was a hard trip, but it was an awesome trip. Thank you for letting me. Good to see you, dear. Good to see you. Bye. This is a huge deal. This is just such a big deal. I sometimes feel like what I do is minimized as sort of like, oh, how cute. Look what mom's doing, you know. But it sounds, sounds silly saying it again. Because I don't, I don't think they purposely do that. My family's supportive of me. Hi, it's mom. Hi, honey. Good to see you. Wow, I love your place. Look at you. You want a tour? This is Emily and Abby. Where's my girlfriend? Nine months. Coming on nine months. Well, that's good. You come. I'm then... going to get there. Okay. What drives me is that desire to prevent women from making that poor decision the first time around. It's just I wish I could have given you that security of my happy mom and dad under the same roof. And I couldn't. It's not about me. It's about what your life should have been. But what would have been different now? Like, what would you want? That you may not feel an aversion toward men. This is just the way I think I was born. Okay. And I don't know if I will ever believe that. I'm not saying I don't accept you. I'm just saying if I could have provided a better, stronger role models for you, that you may have not chosen a gay lifestyle. I guess a part of me feels like I didn't fulfill my role. I am so happy with where I'm at. I mean, Abby are so in love. And I that's, know. And, and you know that. So I, I don't know. understand why you think that you need to be disappointed. I think it's going to be a difficult life choice because of the world that we live in. I think that world is changing. Not everyone is going to be traditional. I'm having trouble with the vocabulary. I actually added a new list. So it, I'll make sure you have it. Athletic, bold, brilliant, and circle ones that apply to your husband. Men uh, are craving appreciation, especially from women. Send you the email regarding uh, for Corey and the other